It is something no first responder wants to prepare for, but they must. Line of duty deaths are happening more often. Today, the Taylor Fire Department led a training for the state's honor guard. Fox 7's Noel Newton is live at the Texas Peace Officers Memorial at the state capitol with that story. Noel. Well, this is one sign of respect that we show for first responders who have lost their lives in the line of duty, but there is so much more that goes into making sure the family members of these heroes know their loved ones were appreciated. Today, we met some of the people who will be carrying out those duties. Praise it! Ha! It is the stance, the salute. First responders hope they will never have to give to a fallen brother or sister. Should a friend die in the line of duty, they want to be there to show their love and respect. This is a display of deep commitment to a service with the possibility of immense sacrifice. It's one of those things we all want to look at it that it's never going to happen to us or it's never going to happen in our hometown or it's never going to happen to our neighbors. But you know, as, as we've seen here in the last couple of years, just in, you know, in the Central Texas area, we've, we've needed this training. Matt Wisnant helps lead an honor guard training in Taylor, where he also serves as a firefighter. 50 first responders have traveled here from across the state to learn from him. We have one time to get it right. Forward, march, and step. Firefighters and police spend days practicing flag presentation and marching. They learn how to arrange a funeral service and how best to communicate with the family and the fallen first responders chief. You must take time for yourself. You must uh, find time to shut the door in your office. It means so much more than just, you know, at the parades or carrying the flag. Taylor firefighter Nolan Grimm decided this role was for him after witnessing the services for the firefighters who died in the West explosion. Grimm's father was on the second engine to respond that day, but survived. I've been on the other side, and now I'd like to be on the side that will help, because I know how much it changed my life, and I hope I can help change somebody else's. So far this year, 14 police officers have lost their lives while on duty. That surpasses all of last year, which ended with 12. Denton officer Ryan Greeley has been through a number of services in his career. Probably too many to count. Denton so far has been immune. Still, he trains. It's, it's not effective if but when. Um, we know that there will unfortunately be a time. Um, so it's, it's taking this knowledge back to be able to write um, some standard operating procedures that, hey, this is what we need to do when this happens. Once first responders complete the training, they'll be able to join a statewide task force, therefore being deployed to line of duty deaths throughout the state. Currently, there are 50 members on that task force. One of them is the fire chief. The other is the trainer we featured in our story. Reporting live at the state capitol, Noel Newton, Fox 7 News.